Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a thrift haul for you. So kind of tip number one, if you are a reseller, is make sure you are following the social media pages of your local consignment and thrift stores. Because my local consignment store uh, posted a YouTube, uh, sorry, a Facebook uh, story that they brought back their dollar bin. And last year I found a dress that I got for a dollar that I was able to sell for $209. So when I saw that, I went right away uh, the next morning and I did get some good items last week. But today I was over there and I had a massage before, so it was great. And then I had a few items I was just dropping off and I thought I would check the dollar bin again. They didn't post this time that they were restocking it, but they had, and this time it was with dresses. So I didn't have a lot of time. I wasn't really expecting to be doing any thrifting while I was there. I was just expecting 10 minutes in and out while they looked at my stuff, but that's not what happened. I still had kind of a limited amount of time. So I didn't very carefully, like I did not quality check these at all. I can't actually tell you what brands I got other than there's some new tag Vince in there and there was something that they had listed for $200. So we're gonna go through the stuff I got and we're gonna discover together what it is I just bought. I can tell you I bought 26 items I believe and it worked out to around $26 as well. I do consign there, so I have store credit, which takes 10% off. So basically that covers my tax. So I spent a little less than a dollar on each of these items. Their tags do include their estimate of what the MSRP is, so I'll be able to give you that. Uh, but a lot of these things I think I'm gonna have to go in and research and figure out. So I might be doing some kind of follow up with what I'm posting them for or how much they're actually worth. So let's dive in. I do have two bags, they're right here. And so we'll just start with this first one here. Um, I think this color is great for summer. Let me scoot back a little bit. Um, so here's the dress. It's got tiered, little tie, cinch waist. It's uh, open back so all in all i think this is super cute and great for summer the brand is daily practice um they had it listed for 30 dollars and an original price of 98 so super cute reminder i got it for a dollar um the size on it is a size small so honestly i might try this little guy on and see how she fits me um because it's just super cute and perfect for summer. All right, next one. I'm sorry if I'm my like eye gaze is a little off. I'm still trying to figure out where to look on the camera. Um, so this is Bella NYC. It's a size one. So this is probably a vanity sizing um, or it could be a junior's brand, I guess. Probably a junior's brand. Um, so size one, it's a little like gray and white gingham print. It, was something they had a little bit cheaper. So this must have been one of the first things I grabbed and I didn't go back and kind of weed out some of the cheaper items, but that's all right, it's cute. Um, real casual, easy throw on. So they had it listed for 14 and it had an original price of 40. So I think that's probably one of the less expensive items that I got. Uh, this one is Bailey 44, original price of 108 and they had it for 35. It is kind of a t-shirt dress, just really casual and easy to throw on, but it does have this kind of like layering to it, um, a three quarter length sleeve. So maybe a nice transitional piece it is pretty long. Um, I'll have to measure that, but you know, kind of a maxi dress length. And that was in a size small as well. I'm guessing probably a lot of these things are going to be on the smaller side um, because they were in the dollar bin and larger sizes just sell better. So my guess is a lot of them are going to be smaller sizes. This is a velvet dress, also size small. Has the detailing on the side and some beadwork on the top. Um, that's going to be about the knee length and has long sleeves. Um, Looks like I'm just kind of checking out the beading to make sure that it's all in 
pretty good condition that it is. So the original price on this one was 92 and they were selling it for 30. I will say that one thing about black dresses is they are hard to take pictures of and so they don't sell very well online. Um, initially, I, when I first started, I did buy a lot of black dresses and I still have a lot of black dresses. So usually something I steer clear of, but because this was a dollar, I went ahead and picked it up. All right, this is by the company Tarte. It was a $92 dress initially. They had it listed for $30. And here's what it looks like. Long sleeve, kind of a mini um, length. So could be a spring kind of transitional, but also might be something that's more likely to be picked up in the fall and uh, winter. And there's this one, which when I felt it, I immediately was like, this is linen. And it is, it's 100% linen. It's Tahari, um, super like beachy, great for throwing on a vacation. Um, it got a keyhole back, so super cute. It is a size small, I'm not gonna lie, this might be another one that I try on. Um, 30, or they had it for $20. And the original price they have on it is 64. I will say that this Ken Simon store does sometimes underestimate the MSRP on things. So, you know, I don't know if it's always completely accurate, but it does give me kind of a ballpark on what something is worth. Um, this one does not have a tag on it, um, a brand tag on it, but. And I think I saw a little snag somewhere. So this is a knit. Um, and this brand, because it is on the consignment store tag, is Missoni, which is an Italian brand that sells for a lot of money. I have one in my closet right now. It's a kind of retro looking one that has stripes on it. And I have it posted for $150. So this one, they had listed for $128 and had an initial value of $354. So it's a mini length, um, it is sheer, so is the other dress I have by them. So um, this is consistent with what I've already seen. Kind of a cute little bell sleeve here. So I'll look it over a little bit more for any pulls, because I did think I saw one, but it might have just been ribbing. Um, but, Super cute, it also does not have a size on it. They have it listed as a size eight, so they probably measured it and figured that out unless there's another tag down here, which there is. So there is another tag down here and it does have it listed as a size eight, um, but does not have the brand tag on it. So hopefully I can find online uh, this dress and be able to use that as a way to um, help people know what the actual brand is. So that one was a pretty exciting When I saw that one, I was pretty happy because again, I had that in my closet, um, my Poshmark closet already. So I knew it was something that was gonna be worth picking up. Okay, so again, this one is one that I probably could have thrown back. Um, kind of as a shorter baby doll-ish dress. And I will say one thing that is kind of true of all of these dresses is that short dresses don't sell as well. Right now, midi and maxi length dresses are a lot more popular. So some of these shorter dresses are potentially gonna take a longer time to sell. Um, I'm not familiar with the brand, so I'm gonna try to say it. Uh, Moulinette, that's what the first part is. Um, they had it listed as $54 initially and they were selling it for 18. So. In terms of dresses, I'm going to put that with that other kind of uh, sweater uh, dress in my less exciting pile. Um, but still, for a dollar, I'm willing to make some mistakes or pick up some things in a rush that maybe I wouldn't always pick up. So this dress is a Calvin Klein dress. Nice color for spring, just kind of a peachy color. Um, it is missing the belt, I just realized that. So that is something that often would make me decide not to get a dress if it's missing a part of it. Um, who knows, maybe it's sitting there in the dollar bin somewhere, but it's a size six and 
they had it for $30 with an original price of $92. So that's what this guy looks like. Got a nice pleated skirt for some volume. But without the belt, I'll probably have to list that a little bit less. And I'm going to go back and do kind of spot check on all of these. But so far, I haven't really noticed anything. A little lint on one of them, but nothing that's been a real flaw. Um, so this one is a maxi dress. It's a size medium to large. Um, I don't actually, oh yeah, it actually is medium to large. It has a range. And it's just a tank maxi dress. So super simple. But I think this is something that is just good for the season and it's easy to throw on. So it is something that um, I think people will pick up just because it's easy. So it was listed, uh, they had it sold selling for 16 and originally for 50. So kind of an easy one, nothing really spectacular on that one. And then there's this guy who is crushed velvet. So this is definitely gonna be more of a winter fall piece. Might even just be a shirt. Mostly picked up dresses, but this is kind of a tunic length. Actually, you know what? I think it is more of a cardigan cape. Now that I'm looking at it, it does just tie right here. I'm telling you, I really just grabbed this stuff. And so we're looking at it together. Um, Lulu's is a great brand that has like a really big following. And so every time I've picked up Lulu's, it doesn't sell for a crazy amount, but it does usually sell pretty quickly and get a lot of likes. Um, which just brings traffic into my store and I like that. So this is an extra small, uh, this actually says it's a red velour wrap dress. So I'll have to look and, oh yeah, I see the, the place for the wrap to go. Okay. So it is a dress. It's a wrap dress and it's going to be a, sh a short one. So seasonally that's going to be way better for fall and that's okay. Um, I'll just probably go ahead and list it, but won't rush to get that one up. All right, this one is a Madewell dress, size zero. They were selling for 20, originally it was 64. Again, pretty simple dress. It does have a little cutout right here that gives it a little something and some detailing um, back behind the armpits. So that's what that one is. It's a navy blue. It does have pockets. Madewell um, usually is a pretty popular brand. So again, it also has a following like some of the other dresses I've shown you. This is a velvet dress. That's the company, not the, the uh, fabric. Uh, it's a size small. They were selling it for 26. It was originally 75. That's what that looks like. It's shorter and it looks like it has short sleeves. Um, so potentially also more of a fall dress. But likely why it was in the dollar bin. All right, now there's gonna be some dresses coming up in here that I think were a little bit more exciting. So this one is a Dave Meister, it's a size two. It's a belted dress. It was originally $100 and they had it uh, for 50. It is new with tags, which is always a really good thing. Um, makes whatever you were selling just worth a little bit more. So I'm more likely to pick up a new tags item. So this is what the dress looks like. It is a short by knee length dress, a little bit more on the business end, um, but it does have this open back. So a little bit of pizzazz to it. But if you threw on a jacket with that, that could be kind of a nice transition from day into evening, be a little bit more buttoned up during the day and uh, have a little back cleavage when you were out in the evening. So this is this Vince dress, just a real casual, easy, kind of almost athleisure wear. It does feel like maybe it's linen. Um, so I'm gonna look at that real quick. It's an extra, extra small. So size wise, this may take a little bit longer to sell, but I have sold extra, extra small before and I will sell it again. They had it listed for 26. Um, and the original price they have is 78. Um, yeah, it is linen. So that's what I was thinking. So hundred percent linen, which is really great going into spring and summer. Linen's really more sought after in the spring and summer. So the fact that I had two linen pieces is great. Um, I'm excited about that. So then there is this dress. 
Okay guys, this dress. I need to check it for flaws. Hopefully there aren't any because this dress, this dress is the dress. This dress was originally $1,870. They were selling it for $228 and I got it for a dollar. So it is a maxi length dress. It's beautiful. It has the tie that comes with it. It is a size 42, so it's an Italian brand, but that's about a medium. Um, I will include measurements just because it is an Italian sizing and most people walking around don't know what size they wear in Italian clothes. Um, so it's got, looks like a cold shoulder sleeve. So this is where your shoulder would be right here. And then kind of a flutter here. So maybe a little bit of an older style, Cold shoulder was really in style a couple years ago, a little less so now, but um, just really pretty, pretty dress. I am curious if this is silk, so I'm gonna check that really quick if I can find the care tag. There's a lot of fabric down here, so I won't look too long, promise. Yeah, I don't see the care tag. I wanna say that, um, I'm gonna say it's probably not silk, but that it could be, so I will check on that. But that dress. Let's just pause on that dress because wow. Um, I didn't really take time to look at it other than like I knew when I pulled it out and I saw that 228, I'm like, I don't care what it is. And I don't care if it has a minor flaw on it. Um, one of the bonuses of shopping at a consignment store like that is that they have done at least a general quality check on whatever it is you're getting. So, um, you know, it's not likely to have a super noticeable flaw or they would have caught it already. Um, so this is my next one. This is mini rose. It's an extra small. They had it. It's also new with tags, which is great. It does break my black dress rule. Um, but again, it's a dollar. It's new with tags, which makes it worth a little bit more. Um, it's an extra small. Um, 168, originally they were selling it for 54. It has adjustable straps, tiered, so kind of cute and flowy. Um, and it does feel summery, so um, good for the season. All right, this is Hugo Boss. Also guys, this is another one. Um, $178, that's what they were selling it for. They have it listed for $444 as the MSRP. Um, again, it could be more. They oftentimes underestimate it. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Next time I do a video like this, I will try to meet a space where I can back up a little bit more so you can see more of the dress. But um, this is what it looks like. I think it's a size large, which is great. A little bit larger than a lot of the sizes and a much more popular size. So... Um, this was another one pretty excited about. It zips in the back. A uh, little heavier too, so that probably is more of a, a fall dress just because it is a little thicker. Um, this one, it says it's a dress. Probably was supposed to have lining. Probably should have thrown this one back. Um, I think this is probably, again, one of the ones I picked up earlier, but that's okay. It's cute. It's got a novelty print. Who doesn't love elephants? Uh, it was originally 54. They had it selling for 18. And it's uh, by the brand Staring at the Stars, or Staring at Stars, and it's a size small. So simple. It's going to go on my less exciting pile over there. All right, then we have this one, which also feels like linen. So I'm going to check to see if this one is linen. But it is a maxi dress. And do I just see a run in it? Nope, that was just a shadow. Uh, this is Feel the Peace, size petite. I don't know if it's, there's something more specific than size petite because there's a whole range of petites out there. Um, just says size P. I'll have to figure out that what that is. All of these dresses, pretty much, I will include measurements because just clothing is so so different by a brand that basically in stuff like this where the 
prices are gonna be a little higher, I will absolutely be including sizes or measurements for all of it. So this is a knit uh, maxi tank dress. Original price was 200. They were selling it for 76. It does have pockets in it. We love pockets. And it does have a slit at the bottom, which makes it easier to walk in. Um, it is lined to about the knee, which is nice because obviously a little extra coverage is good. I don't immediately see the care tag, but if I was a betting woman, I would tell you it's linen. All right, we have a few more to go. I think these next two are the same. Um, they're both new with tags, Vince. They are. Um, one is a size medium and one is a size large. So I'm only going to show you one, but they are long sleeve, kind of a tie wrap dress it looks like it'll go about to your knees so maybe midi length um so new tag vents size large and size medium they're initially 195 and the consignment store was selling them for 64. so you see where you tie right there so easy casual just to kind of throw on probably a good transition piece kind of going into the fall we have three more a couple of dresses in a row here are going to break my black rule of buying black items just because they're really hard to photograph. Um, but this is a velvet dress. They had it for 30. It's a size small. Actually, this might be a second one of these too. This looks familiar to me. So I might have two of those. Which is fine. Actually, if you have two of the same item, like those two um, kind of t-shirt dresses are going to be really easy for me to list because I only have to do one listing for both of them. All right, I have another Vince dress. This is a size medium. It was originally 150. They were selling it for 50. It looks like it's another cold shoulder dress. So that's where your shoulder would go. Your arm would come out over here. It is a little sheer on that part. Um, it does have a tie that is attached, so couldn't get lost. Um, so just cute and simple. Um, this one may be a little tougher to sell just because those details are going to be really hard to have show up. It might be just I don't usually model the clothes just because that's not my jam. Um, but that one is probably one that if I were to put it on, it would be a lot easier to tell what it was. All right. And last is um, a Philip Lim. A th 3.1 Philip Lim and this dress here. So it, I think it would be a mini length dress. Um, it's kind of just a sheath style. It's a size two and the tag is over here. They had this one listed for $98 and an original MSRP, they listed it as $294. So, Kind of a good one to end on because it's another one that they had listed for about a hundred dollars um you know which definitely gives me an estimate of how much i can list it for um and historically i found that uh because there's just a larger audience online oftentimes i'm able to price just a little bit higher than they are just because there's more traffic potential traffic coming through my store this is a navy color um with the white accents on it. It's fully lined as well. So that was my thrift haul. Um, I don't know if any of you have been doing the math. I haven't, I was just going through and really discovering what it was that I bought. I didn't really see too many flaws, which is great. A um, Couple of things that if I was paying attention, I might not have brought home, but ultimately, you know, for less than a dollar, I will, well make my money back on that and even if there's something in here I ultimately decide not to post um that's going to be okay so hopefully um you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I was able to pick up and find today in the 20 minutes I had um really just of digging through a huge bin of the stuff at my local consignment store so um please like this video subscribe to my store if you like or subscribe to my channel if you like reseller content and i appreciate you being here to watch